Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today I'm starting a new experiment. Do these compostable paper straws break down in a worm bin? So I've had these straws for a while now. We used them. They work really well, actually, um, for water. They're still kind of firm. They're kind of hard to squeeze in compared to some of the other ones that I've seen, which, you know, they fall apart when you put them in a glass of water. So we're going to see how these work in a worm bin. So I'm going to add these to one of my worm bins that's very low on cardboard or basically out of cardboard. It's ready to be harvested, but that'll give them a chance to kind of work on these with the food that's left in there. So let's go to the bin and take a look and let's start this process and see how well these break down. All right, so here we go. We're at my bin. As you can tell, there's only a little bit of, uh, well, there's some fresh coffee grounds in here. There's a lot of food. Looks like a really good, healthy bin as far as the amount of worms in it. There's worms on the sides. There's worms all over this. So I'm just pulling out some of the food from over here, kind of throwing it all in one area. Now let's just pull, actually let's pull this up for a second. I just want to show you here. Nice and healthy bin. See all these worms down here? There's tons of worms in here. Nice and healthy. Looks like everything's broken down underneath here, except for this piece of pumpkin right here that's still in here. It's, the material in here is kind of muddy. Um, there is, actually, hold on, wait a second. Looks like that's a piece of the sponge that just never... Uh, Never did uh, go away um, from one of my sponge testing. I'll put, put up a link to that. But this is uh, was supposed to be a sponge that was all 100% organic. It looks like this must be some sort of plastic or something. It's still here after months. Um, I thought it was gone. So I'm going to put that to the side, but the worms seem to like getting on top of it. So now we're going to take our straws here. We're going to jam a couple of them to the soil like this. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to just do that a little bit just to get some material on them. I'm going to lay them down, and we're gonna, just going to put them right underneath this towel here. So actually, you know what? I'm going to put some food near them. Some coffee grounds. So this bin, as you can tell, this towel is almost gone in here. This is 100% cotton towel. I'm just going to put that right over top and hopefully these worms will work on it. So as you can see here, there's tons of worms in this bin. Look at this. They're all over the place in here. They're doing really well. So hopefully this will help them kind of get into that area where those straws are. We'll check back on them in a little bit. And more worms over here. I'm going to put these over here too. Look at this. Just a ton of worms in this bin. I'm kind of pulling from another area here. So we're just going to kind of lay that right on top here. Some more material on top of it. So we're going to leave this now. I'll come back and I'll look at it in a little bit. This bin has plenty of moisture in it, so I don't think it needs any more. Otherwise, I would spray it down, but this, this looks plenty moist. Let me zoom, go a little bit wider here. There we go, so now you can see a little bit better. But as you can see, there's tons of material right here near this. Um, I don't think these will last all that long. They didn't feel all that robust as far as, you know, once they were wet, they'd soften up and they'd kind of squish these straws. But I'm hoping that this will really break it down. So we're gonna try this. You know, today is day zero. And we're going to continue this. I'm going to check on them every week, and we'll see how they're doing. So I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment and ask.